Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Seven Days to Die. So I decided to make a follow-up video of this game. So now we are at day 28, so that means that um, today's Blood Moon and uh, yeah, they're coming for me. So uh, as you know, this game is uh, open world, uh, zombie, post-apocalyptic world, uh, yeah, survival and um yeah we in the in the last video we were making um yeah a stand against the the zombie horde that um, comes every seven days that's why the game is called seven days to die and um yeah today um i wanted to test something so the last time the zombies came under uh, the house and uh, yeah destroy this block here that you see that now is repaired with um, concrete and they all went through that hole so uh, one block and I think this is this was an update of the game like the zombies can now crawl and go through um, a one block space um, inside uh, structures or or underneath structures I, I should say and also um, what I did now is that I uh, surrounded all the the lower part of the base with this um, barbed wire fences so I wanted today well one thing that um, I noticed is that um, I read that the zombies are attracted to flickering lights so the burning barrel uh i wanted to test uh put the the, the but this barrel will attract the zombies so this is uh, the way you could in principle guide the the zombies and i think they come uh, to the uh, to the front part because i have this torch here but with the barrel i think uh, they will be um more attracted still to this place so that's one thing i wanted to do also i prepare some uh landmines and yeah the, the idea is to place them if i guess that they will come through this uh, part here uh, we have to be careful not to trigger them Yes, this is my guess here, that they will come uh, through this place here. And we have to beef up uh, those defenses. I will close now the front. So, let's close the front. Let's see where we can put this and yeah the other thing is to close this part right here there we go so one thing i wanted to show you is um other things that i prepared i'm um of course these defenses are uh, more effective if you can predict where they are going to come through so, for example, I'm expecting that at some point they will break into the house through this um, wall here. Because this is what they did before. Like, this is the block I showed you before that I repaired. And I placed uh, a turret here. So, this turret uh, will fire at everything that comes through that door, right? And one thing I want to do here is to try to hold them up. as long as possible in this area here oh i run out of those uh, i think i need three more so if i can hold them up here this barbed wire one of the things that it does is that it prevents um it prevents them from it slows them down it, not only that it it damage it makes damage but also it slows them down so if can if i can slow them down 
Well, they are coming through that door right there. That um, that is great. And I, I, yeah, from this distance, I cannot close the door. But I, I think I don't want to close the door. I want to come them to. Uh, I want them to come through. Right away. Because I think. Um, Knocking at the door won't make such a difference. Okay, but one thing about the turret is that you have to be close by, right? Oh, and there's some damage structure here. Um, yeah, there we go. Another thing that I found is that um, these bars down here, the green one represents uh, food. And the purple one represents water. And the, the last time I was not fed enough. So I, I kept coming hungry, becoming hungry and becoming thirsty. So you have to make sure that those bars are up. So yeah, that's, that's one thing. So you don't have to wait until it tells you that you're hungry. I have um, a pipe machine gun, so it should uh, be better this time. I won't use like this, um, let's call this um, bow. At the beginning, I, 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 I thought this was not a good, uh, a very good strategy. So what else can I do? I can place uh, the rem mainer um, spikes yeah I will do this so in case um, they come through this way What else can... Yeah, I could just place more of them here. Well, the last time they came through... Let's place them here. Because the last time, this is what they did. They came through this um, section. And hopefully they will do that because they, they, they are attracted to the... To the flickering. What else? I have ammo. Hopefully more ammo than, than the last time. Um, what else? I'm loaded with guns. I should place some medical equipment. It's a good idea. Also, I have these pipe bombs. And a very cool thing is this um, torch. Sorry, this um, the spear. I had um, the, the equipment. You can you can um, modify your equipment. You go to the weapon, and there is a modify, and it has these um, modifier slots. And one of the modifiers is burning shaft. So it says that uh, an item can um, double as light source and uh, set enemies on fire. So I found that very cool. So it serves as a, um, as a lighting, as a light source. So you can, you can see your way around in darkness. But also it could, it could be useful to attract them further, right? Uh, and also they will set the zombies on fire. That's, that's very cool. So now, yeah, basically, I don't want um, to be caught um, off guard like the last time. Um, I should eat probably one more time. Should also drink. 
And I should drink these potions um, soon enough as well. I have two potions prepared. One of them gives me extra XP, like 20% more. Because we will gain XP killing the horde. And also there's one that uh, increases um, the damage uh, range weapon. Yeah, range damage plus 50%. What does it do though? Uh, ah, it, it decreases water. So okay, so you ha you need to be really. You have to be full of water because it will decrease. So yeah, so I think we're prepared. Hopefully, we will be able to stand our ground. That, those turrets are really helpful. I, I used them a lot in the past. But this time I equipped the, the, the turret with um, shotgun, like shotgun ammo. And they this um, shotgun ammo has more spread. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. What else can we do? Well, at this point... We have everything. Well, the coffee gives us um, a bonus in stamina regeneration. We should also drink that one before the zombies um, appear. Ah, I think I don't need that. Um, I think I don't need some tools here, but never mind. So, if they come through the front, then we're good. Hopefully they will come this way. I have a, um, a spotlight at the top, but I think spotlights uh, we cannot use uh, currently because we don't have a power generator. And that comes from the... I think from the from these perks here, the, the skills. So yeah, there's something called advanced engineering and um, level th this level three here is for um, electrician. And it says, well, you are now an electrician, learn to craft generators and build advanced base defense systems such a, a, as electric fences and play traps so uh, this is the the next i think this is the the next one i will acquire let's see how we are on the armor side i think armor we are good i have um a football helmet for head protection the goggles the lucky goggles ah this is loot bonus I think there are other goggles that will boost. Yeah, there are different goggles that will boost different things. I don't know if I have more goggles. Ah, and another change that you can see here is that I just uh, got rid of the stairs. Because this is uh, something... Well, this prevents the zombies to... to, to if they break under, right, um, it will be difficult for them to, to go up. So I don't know if... Um, let's see, I have another goggle here. What is this? Ah, uh, this one has XP gain. Oh, that's not bad. I could just replace my current goggles for these ones so we earn more XP yeah that, that sounds cool so they will come shortly guys
Let's go out there. I thought about putting the the the, the turret outside, but I think outside they are not that effective. I I wanted like to reserve the turret when they if they break through to concentrate the you know to concentrate the far power in a small um, space and only when they come through. Um, the thing is that you have to be close to the to the turret for it to be active. So I don't know. Probably I, I have to go down there if they break through to activate the turret. So this is this ideal ideally the your strategy, right? Like you have several layers of defense, and when you when they break one layer you retreat to the previous one and so on and this is um yeah this is something that is similar to a tower defense strategy right that's why i say that it's tower defense-esque game okay but the developers really knew how to to make players um, uneasy, right? Look at this guy, and the and the thunders are just um, blasting on my ears. They startle me. So soon I will be drinking the potions. At 10, at 10 is the time, 22 hours, at 22 hours they will just, um, yeah this is the time when the, the night time is, um, is activated, when, when the zombies are more active. Okay, time to drink the potions. It burns going down. Okay. Here they come. Four, it lasts for four minutes the stats yep yeah you see how the game lags right ah there they come nice this is coming too fast well our prediction was good and this is very oh I forgot to Oh, that's bad. To light the, the... I forgot to light up this Molotov cocktail. It's with the right button. But they are going exactly where I predicted. That's a good thing. Well, this is coming here. Uh-huh, uh, that was a mine, a landmine. 
Okay, this is not working anymore. Okay, I, I don't know if... I think they... Did they make it through or not? There's none... Aha, uh -huh, they broke through, I think. But where? Where are they? I think they broke through, but not... But still not here. I don't know where... Are they? Okay. I hope I, I know when they are through. Okay, let's wait for them down there. I think it's the, be the best we can do right now. I don't know how, how much they are at this point. I think two of the landmines uh, went off. Just two of them. Well, they are um, taking some time to break in. Don't know where they are exactly. I should take a look. By the way, ah, yes, I, I have. I could just throw a bomb at them. Where are they? Oh, they are all here. Okay. They are all, but... They haven't been successful at digging there. Well, that's curious, huh? Look at that. Okay, as um, I did before, uh, but I don't... Let's make a hole here like I did before, right? Because I know that they are here. Yeah, let's bring some of this. Whoa! <laughs> I fell. That's not good. Okay, and let's throw a bomb. Oh, that was a good strategy.
Do they come in? They are having such a hard time coming in. I don't know if it's a better strategy, like to have a weak uh, point in the in the <laughs> in the wall, because they probably this would be over if they just um, they just come in, right? Where are they right now? Ah, they're here. Okay. Are they inside already? No, they're not inside. Okay. Oh, they are here. Oh, there's a dog. I hate dogs. There's a dog. Okay, where's the dog? I hear... Ah, here's the dog. I hate dogs. The dogs are the worst. Dogs are the worst. Whoa! Okay, I think it's over, guys. It's over. I think we survived. <laughs> okay, so I... Um, what went wrong with my prediction is that they broke through this um, hole here. That was not what I was expecting. And yeah, two of the landmines went off. Let's see. What is this? Reading the schematics will teach you how to what is this? Retracting shock. Okay. That's nice. Scrap this and yeah, more ammo for the machine gun. Okay, and I have... Oops! <laughs> I hurt myself. Okay, but not too badly. Um, I need to build again the stairs, I guess. The ladder. To get inside. Okay, guys, but we, we made it. Really, um... It was really uh, much better. Oh, yeah, I, I fell in my own trap. 
<laughs> Much better than before than the last time. Let's see how much they destroyed. I hate when they just come and destroy everything. Yeah, they came through through that hole there. And they were destroying this part here. Yeah, but not too bad. Ah, it's a pity that I didn't get to <laughs> try my... You see that the turret didn't come into action. I was expecting them to come this way, but if the turret would have been here, um, that, yeah, that would be a really good strategy. Oh, this one had money in it. Nice. Well, these are really good loots. When when they drop stuff, they are really good loots. Okay. So, yeah, I, I hope that you had a good time. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I was terrified. <laughs> so I hope you were as terrified as me. And, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. So this is Cyber Settler signing off.